All right, before this video begins, I just wanted to bring, make something clear. I do not own any animes such as Naruto or Demon Slayer. I don't own any art or music that is featured within this video. All of that belongs to their respected creators. I do not own anything such as MA Micro Academia. Um, Demon Slayer, One Piece, Pokemon, Naruto, um, Bleach, you get the idea. The only thing I own is the story and my voice. Alright, so please, please, um, don't copyright me, and let's begin. Welcome to a new video. It is now welcome. Please, please sit by the fire and sit by the white, black, and blue flames. Cook some marshmallows, grab a drink, grab some popcorn or, an, or a sandwich, and let the story begin. This is the tale of many things. First, a great warrior who is vicious and feared, but in a brave act of self-sacrifice, ended his own life. However, while before he could die, he was sent to a new realm, a mysterious one at that. The warrior had died, and the warrior died, but this, but that is not the end, oh no. Within this tale, tales of great warriors of old, battles of new, glory, death, justice, Judgment. But without any further ado, let us begin. <clears throat> now, Naruto Uzumaki was a young child born as the son of Kushina Uzumaki and Minato Namekaze. However, he didn't know his parents. They were murdered on the night of his birth. Naruto was a Jinchuriki, but he was feared instead of praised. They tr used him as a scapegoat for all of their problems, or everything that the Yubi, the nine-tailed fox, had caused. Only because he was the vessel, but instead of seeing him as the vessel for the beast, they saw him as the beast itself. It's very incarnation. Naruto was a normal child with blue eyes and yellow hair. He had six whiskers, three on each cheek, however, which this could be considered an anomaly. Naruto was a young child. At the age of four, he was terrified. He was, well, 
very irritable, angry, and destructive. He caused destruction due to the fox's powers taking over his body. And so, the young, innocent child turned into a possibly extremely dangerous weapon. But of course, they didn't even see the potential which he could hold. They didn't even see that he was the only thing keeping their village from certain destruction, or at least a, or at least a war. <clears throat> now when Naruto was young now, people feared Naruto even more after the incident when he was four years old. He got too angry at people for yelling at him and calling him a freak that the fox had taken control and destroyed around five buildings. We skipped when Naruto was eight. It is finally time. Naruto will be facing off in a sparring match, just fist to fist, against the Prince of Konoha. A chill child who is given so much praise for doing absolutely nothing but existing. Sasuke Uchiha. And so, the two... Hold on. Yes, Mom! Sorry about that. <clears throat> I'm sorry if I sound like I'm speeding through a bit. It's just, this is my second um, attempt at this video. <sighs> Believe me, it was going so perfectly, just a bit slower. And then the friggin' recording app decided to glitch and yeah, it oofed. But anywho. <sighs> Jack, Jack, could you please quiet down? Anywho, back to my recording. <clears throat> and back to the video. Naruto oh, was so excited. He could finally show the village what he was capable of. Of course, everyone cheered for Sasuke. And, well, the battle began. It was a long, hard-fought battle with just some basic taijutsu. Basically, taijutsu, you know, baby stuff. However, <clears throat> Naruto was, well, matching Sasuke in, for blow for blow. Sasuke got angry and released the largest fireball he had ever conjured. In his life so far, the fireball was so dis was so large it blasted Naruto off of his feet and threw the sky. Naruto landed in a bar. He was scared, and he was beaten by drunk old fat guys, basically stupid villagers. At night, it was at night time when he escaped. He was beaten and bloody, running. Now he thought he had landed out of the leaf village, and he thought that the patch of trees in front of him was uh, just a clearing into the leaf village. But no, it was the forest of death. And so Naruto ran to this forest, as stupid as he, is, as he was. And he ran for hours, for a bleeding, pitch-black night. 
And then he fell. He fell down a 15 foot hole. And remember, this is an eight year old. So that would have killed him. But he was perfectly fine. As he looked underneath him and saw these strange purple and cyan blue flowers. The petals seemed to be shaped like blades. There was an entire grove of them and the path of them leading somewhere deep within the cave which he had fallen in. Now Undertale fans are probably going to seem like this is really freaking reminiscent and they're probably going to think there's a demon flower about to pop up in three Two, one, but this is not Undertale. So, for the Undertale fans who are thinking that, I just want you to put a, I just want you to put a demon or a demon flower or something terrifying, reminiscing of anything from Undertale, and just put howdy. Okay. Now, anywho. <clears throat> Back to the video. Naruto had fallen, but he was awake and alive. He followed the strange path of purple and cyan flowers all the way to a skeleton and to what appeared to be a skeleton with a blade going right through its ribs, or its old dusty broken ribs. The blade was strange. <clears throat> it had these weird indents on it, all over it actually. These weird curvy bumps that felt as if they were supposed to do something, but Naruto didn't know that. Instead, Naruto just thought it was a really weird sword, but he felt as if something was pulling him towards it, something strange. He ran over and tugged the blade out of the ground and the skeleton's broken rib cages and broken rib cage. He tussled it right out. And then something strange happened. It seemed as if the blade started feeding off of Naruto's chakra. And then, then something appeared from the shadows, a black and purple shadowy figure, very tall, maybe 13 feet tall. Sorry, not 13 feet, maybe nine feet tall. The tall figure just stared at Naruto with its shadowy eyes, which Naruto couldn't see. Naruto then said, who are you? Back, back off. I, I have a katana and I have a sword and I'm not afraid to use it. As Naruto would pull, the, would try to pull the sword to whatever was staring at him. But the creature, or shadowy figure, then said, Do not fear me, human. And do not fear me. I am not alive. At least, not anymore. As then he'd say, God, wh what are you? As the shadowy figure would then say, I am a demon, one of the most feared demons, the third strongest in existence, to be exact. Of course, if we're counting when I was <coughs> back still in action, I was the second strongest, only recently, to my knowledge, a third strongest demon had I'm a demon even stronger than the one ahead of me had come into existence. I then said, wait, you're a d demon? 
Do you mean like people call you a demon and beat you up? As he then said, hmm? What do you mean, child? As Naruto would then explain his childhood to him, as the shadowy figure would then begin releasing shockwaves off of its body, a combination of air pressure and bloodlust and killing intent. These shockwaves would be blasting throughout the entire cave, instantly shattering stalactites, stalactites, and even cracking the walls and ceilings, and even the floor of the cave itself. The, the shadowy figure then chatted with Naruto for a while, and then it came up with a decision. It then said, Listen, child. I have, <laughs> you have no family, no mother, no father, no brother, no sister. You have no, you have no guardian, no master, no sensei. You have no friends, no allies. How would you feel? If I were to raise you, child. Naruto would then look at the creature and at the shadowy figure in confusion, as he'd then say, Hey, I, from what you have told me, you've lived quite the terrible life. A life which I was fortunate enough to not suffer during my childhood. I had everything you didn't, a brother, a father, a mother, a home, status, skill, friends, power. I had it all, but of course, being selfish, I turned my I back on everything just for power. So I could out, so I could overpower my younger brother, who still defeated me. As he'd then say, and so, child. After long, after many years, after that, after struggle, war, and serving a dark lord, and serving a corrupt and evil master, I had had enough. I ended my own life. But that was not before I was sent here, due to my old master, or trying to, <clears throat> due to my old master, trying to preserve me, or at least my power. I was sent hurling through a vortex like a portal. I was brought to this cave, bleeding, my blood grew these strange flowers from its droplets, and I killed myself by committing senpuku. I think that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's like suicide for honor. Please tell me in the comments if I'm correct, and don't ha harass me if I'm incorrect. But anyways, back to the video. As the tall, shadowy figure would then say, <laughs> All right, boy, so, do you accept my offer? As Naruto would look at the shadowy figure and would say, I accept. As the tall, shadowy figure would then say, Good. Very good. As he would then zoom, zoom over to Naruto at, this, at incredible speeds, as he would then go inside of Naruto by basically turning into mist and entering through his, the skill on his stomach. As we go to Naruto's mindscape, 
where three beings live, and where two beings used to live. Now there is three. As we see the three beings, and as we see the two beings, one of them is hiding within the very core of Naruto's mind. The other is within a giant cage. As the giant fox would then say, <clears throat> Who are you? What are you doing in my host? Sorry, I'm trying my best English Karama voice, but we all know that sucks. <clears throat> As the shadowy figure would then say, This, hmm, you must be what he, what everyone here is so scared of. The reason this child has suffered. Is that correct? As he then say, hmm. I off I wish a battle to you. If you defeat me, I'll leave and you are free to do whatever you want with this boy. But if I win, you have to st you have to give whatever help and whatever power you can to him. Whenever it is most necessary, and you cannot interfere with his life ever again. Understand. The shadowy figure looked at Karama as he then said, <clears throat> Why the hell not? As the shadowy figure slipped through into Karama's seal. And into Kurama's giant cave. Each. As the two would then battle, the shadowy figure would begin, would then summon a blade and would begin slicing with strange crescent shapes out of energy at the giant fox. The fox couldn't even react and was defeated almost instantaneously. As he then said, do you yield, Fox? As Karama then said, uh, I yield. A deal's a deal. As then Karama would give as much chakra as he could to Naruto to keep him alive. As the shadowy figure would leave the... And the shadowy figure would then leave the seal, but as it was walking out, a secondary being appeared, and a new being appeared. It was not entirely human, it was, but it wasn't a demon, neither. It was something else. As then, the creature then spoke, Who are you, and what are you doing in my reincarnation's mindscape? As he then said, your reincarnation? <laughs> if you, you've been treating him awful from what I've seen. You haven't even taken an interest in him. Not even once have you tried talking to him, I bet. <laughs> Let me guess. You want him to figure everything out on his own? What an idiot. I'll give you the same offer I gave the fox, this time if I defeat you. You have to leave them, this child, and I will take your spot. Understand? The Cree teacher would then say, agreed, as the two would then battle. The creature would then begin, would then summon a ginormous wooden Buddha. Buddha statue, as he'd then say, Ugh, it's like Doma, but with wood. As the shadowy figure would then, would then, <clears throat> would then spawn two blades, which would then begin morphing themselves, making themselves longer and spawning curved and would begin spawning blades out of the sides 
then those blades would become longer and even more blades would spatter those ones and and you get the idea out of after a couple of of minutes the giant wooden buddha would be reduced to nothing but firewood as you then say I will admit, you're strong, but not strong enough. As he would then, then go a final slash to the creature, who would then fall over in defeat. As he then say, fine, a deal's a deal. I'll leave the boy, and I'll leave Naruto. As... Then the creature would then disappear. Suddenly, on the outside world, Naruto would begin changing physically. His hair would then bleed from the middle. And from the top middle, it would then bleed black, covering his entire head. His eyes would become red with black slits in them. His teeth would become sharp. His fingernails would become clawed. And his whiskers would become even more defined. As the boy would then... And as then, the boy would be sent, summoned to the mindscape. As he would then see it before him. You would see a child, or at least a child-looking creature. It had black hair with red tips and six eyes. It wore what could only be guessed as samurai robes. And it had, had the blade, which Naruto held in his hands, in a, an, at, its, at its waist. As the creature would then speak, welcome, Naruto, welcome to, welcome to your mindscape. I have struck a deal with the, with two creatures which lives here. Now, there's only me and one of them. I did not kill the other. I merely made a deal with him and he left. Because of that, you've changed physically, entirely, even. And now, I can finally begin your training. If Naruto wouldn't say, wait, 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 hold on. You're the tall, shadowy figure. And why in here do you look, and why in my mind do you look so tiny? As he didn't say, oh, sorry. As the creature, and as the tall, and as the tiny looking baby like creature would then begin growing to extremely large sizes. As it would then say, is this? And as it would then grow to nine foot seven, as it would then say, is this more to your liking? I could then say, yup, yup it is, you giant. And then he'd say, good. Now then, Naruto, my name is Kokoshibo, or once Michiketsu Shijikune. Now, because I'm basically adopting you, you will now go by my last name. Your new name is Naruto Sijikune. I shall teach you the legendary skills of moon breathing, my legendary power. And I will also teach you how to use my demon blood art. Because technically, since I took the spot of the creature which you are the reincarnation of, you technically should would be my reincarnation now, as that is why your eyes and hair 
have changed as well. I suspect when you're older, the uh, the tips of your hair will begin to bleed red. Well then, <clears throat> child. As then, Naruto would then say, what is moon breathing and what's a demon blood arc? As he then say, moon breathing is my is a skill that only I possess. Now, I guess only you and I possess. <clears throat> it is a derivative. Well, I don't really like to think of it as a derivative. I think of it more as a opposite of my brother's skill. His power was sun breathing, an ability which allowed him to kill demons and stunt the regenerate their regenerative property, and their regenerative property. And so, this, as you can tell, was probably a huge pain in the ass. As you then say, my ability, however, it was once very powerful when I was human, but when I became a demon, it became hundreds of times stronger. As he then say, now, I shall teach you three, I shall teach you the first three forms, and I shall teach you three forms of moon breathing. All right, child? Now, here, here, now you will be here for about a month learning the first one, all right? Now, sit down and observe. As he would then say, <clears throat> First form, Dark Moon Evening Palace. As he would then create one sideways slash, and one red sideways energy slash, with yellowish gold, crescent bounce, and spinning crescent moon blades, Aids made of goldish yellow energy surrounding the blade, as they then split off, slicing anything near. Here, they all split off, bouncing in different directions, as if they were boomerangs. As Naruto would then say, Whoa! As he would then begin trying to use the moon breathing skill. However, he could not do it. We skip a month later. Now a month in the mindscape is a month in real life. <clears throat> as he then say, and as Naruto would then say, <laughs> moon breathing and breath of the moon. First form. Dark moon. Evening palace as he would then do the sideways slash. As he'd then say, very good, Cha. Very good, Naruto. <laughs> Perhaps there's hope for you yet. As he'd then say, next. <clears throat> we will be learning the second form. As he'd then say, hey, <clears throat> second form. Pearl flower moon gazing. As he would then create two multiple slashes, as he then create three m slashes, one from each side, meaning one going up whilst forward, one from the from the behind going upward. I'm sorry, one from behind on the right going upward. And then one on the left from the behind going upward as well. Each of them would have crescent moon, would have the crescent moon blades bouncing around as well. As he then say now, Naruto, this form will be a bit harder for you to master. As we skip one, as we skip two weeks now. 
as Naruto would then say. <sighs> Second form. I'm breath of the moon. Second form. Pearl flower moon gazing. As he'd then create the three slashes. As, as then Koko Shibo would then say, very good. All right. And now for the third form. And now for the next form, the third form. Breath of the Moon. Loathsome Moon Chains. As he could then do one giant slash in front of him. And one giant slash behind him. The two slashes would be slightly redder, but more red and white. This time, they would have, they'd be creating shock waves, waves from underneath, just from the pure air pressure of these attacks. As Naruto would, and as we skip a week later, Naruto would then say, Breath of the Moon, third form, Loathsome Moon Chains. As he'd then do two slashes, one from in front, one from behind. Doing the same attack. As Kokoshigo would then say, very good, Naruto. <laughs> You've learned two of the 16 forms of moon breathing. And you've learned three of the 16 forms of moon breathing. As Naruto would then say, there's 16 of these things? As he'd then say, yup, but I'll only be showing you a certain amount. And a, a couple. As, <clears throat> well, I haven't used the other ones in quite a while. At least, not yet. Maybe it's been like, say, a hundred years since I last used the other skills. As he'd then say, but anywho, awaken. As not Naruto would wake up. In this time, he'd be in the underground area. As he would look at the blade, holding it that he held in his hands. As the eyes would then, I mean, the indentions would then open up. Revealing to be eyes as they began moving around. As Koko Shibo's voice would ring in his head. The... <clears throat> this blade is one... This blade, aside from your two eyes, is how you and I will see. Understand? As Naruto then said, yes, master. As he then said, good. As... Naruto would then and walk over to the Hidden Leaf Village, or would enter the village and leave the Forest of Death. The third Hokage was worried, looking everywhere for Naruto, as he then said, Naruto, there you are. Who, where have you been for, where have you been for the last two months, I'm for almost two months? And for a little bit over two months, huh? As Naruto then said, Oh, I was practicing my new jutsu I created. I, it's called, I call it my moon kekigenkai. It's a moon kekigenkai which I created. As he then said, and as the third Hokage then said, Huh? Well, that's interesting. I've heard of people creating jutsu. But never someone cr creating an, an entire Keke Genkai on their own. As he didn't say, yeah, watch this. As he'd, but before that, he'd say, wait, Naruto, question. What happened to your hair and your eyes? As he didn't say, oh, um, when I awoken, when I created this new Keke Genkai, my hair and eyes changed drastically. My 
fingernails are now like claws and my teeth are sharp. My whisker marks are now a bit more defined as well. As he then said, ah. As he then said, all right, can you please show me this new kicking kai of yours? As he then say, of course. As Naruto would then say, <clears throat> behold, in twilight style, I'm behold, demonic style, I'm be as he then say, behold, moon style, as Naruto would then summon the blade out of his hands, and out of nowhere, as he then say, <clears throat> moon breathing, first form. And Breath of the Moon first form, as he then say. <clears throat> Eve, Dark Moon, Evening Palace, as he create one giant sideways slash, with bouncing, and golden energy blades, and golden crescent shaped energy blades bouncing around the room. As the third Hokage would then say, whoa. Naruto, how did you exactly create this skill? As he then said, oh, simple. I just created this sword out of my flesh. As Naruto would then create a second one out of his flesh as well. As he then would say, I can manipulate the blades for the more advanced skills. As he then say, but now it's time for my second skill. But now it's time for my second skill. As he then say, Naruto, how many of these are there? And how many of these skills have you created so far? As Naruto would then say, oh, three. Oh, only three. As he'd then say, Breath of the Moon, second form. Pearl Flower Moon Gazing. As he'd then create three large slashes, each bouncing with slightly larger golden energy blades. As the third Hokage, Haruzen, would then say, Whoa, Naruto, this skill seems amazing. But also, the very air pressures creating shock waves on the ground. How? As he'd then say, that's not all I can do. As he'd then say, Breath of the Moon, third form. Or Loathsome Moon Chains. As he'd then create two larger slashes, each with shock waves from all the way beneath them. As he'd then say, What do you think? As the third Hokage would then say, I'm looking forward to seeing how this miraculous, this Kekagenkai of yours will evolve. Hmm. As Andanza would say, I've seen quite enough. We should put Naruto here, and we should put the demon, into the CRA. After all, if this is some sort of new ability, then it's clear that we that Konoha should create a clan for it. After all, that way we can use this ability to strengthen our Kenjutsu and our village as a whole. As Haruzen would then say, No, Danzo. No. We will let Naruto decide. As then Naruto would then say, I do not want to be in the CRA. As Danzo would then growl in anger. As Naruto would then say, well, goodbye, old man. As he would then, and goodbye, Gigi, as he'd walk out. As Naruto would then say, thank you for teaching me those skills, ill sensei. As Koko Shibo in Naruto's mindscape would then say, it's not a problem. Although, one thing, when the skill co when the color starts changing, it will be, 
I'm, there will be an evolution to your skills, however. I believe after you've breached the seventh skill or fifth, I cannot remember, and the seventh or fifth form, they will begin to evolve. There will be in ten times more crescent moon blades, except there will be cyan blue, much faster and more chaotic. Meaning you won't be able to, I'm basically, instead of acting like boomerangs, will bounce around wherever they want until they dissipate. As he then say, also, the slash instead of being red will be purple. As he then said, there you will be have to learn how to use the, your demon blood art to farther extremities. As Naruto would then say, hi, sensei. As he then walk around, and as he would then and walk back to his house, smiling, all cheery. As <clears throat> we see, he, and as we see Naruto walk in his room, as he then says, all right, if I want a chance at beating Sasuke, I need to, I need to learn Learn all of the basic forms. Is that all right with you, Sensei? As he then say, hmm. To learn all of the basic forms, huh? When you want to learn all of the basic forms, huh? How can I say no to you? As he then say, all right. The third, the fourth form. It, I mean, the next form is a. Uh, hmm. Not exactly. You know all that bad and the fifth form is the next one I'll show you why not the fourth simply because I won't show you the fourth all right as you then say <clears throat> the fourth form and the fifth form <coughs> as you then say breath of the moon fifth form moon spirit calamitous Eddie as he would then create eight, three, again, three extremely large, three slashes, this time each one being extremely large and long. As he'd then say, now your turn. This time, due to Naruto being, a, being more into the, and being more adjusted to the skill, he'd learn it within half of a week. As he'd then say, Breath of the Moon, fifth form. Moon Spirit, Calamitous Eddie. As he'd then do the three giant slashes. As Kokoshibo would then say, very good. Now, it's time you learn the last of the basic skills I want, I'm willing to teach you. The sixth form, Perpetual Night, Lonely Moon, in, in, Incessant. All right. As he then say, yeah, hi, master. As he then say, now. I want to warn you, this skill is the strongest of the basic one. And this this is one of the strongest of the basic skills. Not the best of the basic skills, but you get the idea. Now there's originally seven basic skills. I'm not going to show you two of them, as I, it's been a while since I performed them. As... <clears throat> as... He would then say <clears throat> perpetual night lonely I breath of the moon sixth form perpetual night lonely moon incessant 
as he would then and release his arm, creating, and as he then begins slashing all over the place, creating over ten giant red, red and white slashes, each with crescent moon blades bouncing around like boom boomerangs. As he then say, "Your turn." This time, within a day, Naruto could complete the form. As he then say. Moon breathing, sixth form. <clears throat> I'm moon breathing, sixth form. Hmm. Moon breathing. Breath of the moon, sixth form. Perpetual night, lonely moon, incessant. As he would then begin slashing all over the place. As he then say, well done. You've learned five of the six basic forms. I know what I said earlier about there being seven basic forms, but I got my, my memory messed up. Now, just to show you a taste of what's to come, as he then say, <coughs> seventh breath of the moon, seventh form. As his blades would begin to morph themselves, creating even more blades on the sides. As he then say, Breath of the Moon, seventh form, Mirror of Misfortune, Moonlit. As he would create one extremely large, and as he then create one slash around his body, being purple, with exactly five larger, extremely large crescent moon blades swirling around. However, what he Naruto did, didn't see until it was too late, was five, sorry, no, it was one, two, three, was a whole bunch of purple and black slashes uprising out of the ground with <clears throat> purple shock these slashes appeared to be in shock waves. I'm in thin shock waves with crescent shock, black and purple shock waves surrounding them. As Naruto would then say, Whoa. As he then say, Whoa, indeed. Eventually you'll be able to do that. But for now, as he then say, I have not eaten in a long while. So. I'm going to enter sleep mode, as he'd then fall over, and would begin sleeping. As Naruto would then say, hi, master, as he'd then leave the mindscape. Unbeknownst to Naruto, however, someone was watching. Possible, f and a fangirl of Naruto's who had been a fan of his when she first saw on Naruto training in his mindscape. After she saw the one whom he was supposed to be the reincarnation of get kicked out of his body, she watched Naruto and saw his amazing new skills. They looked so beautiful, but the evolved form it looked like a completely other level. The woman smiled from a enclosed space as she then smiled wickedly and said, So, as she then touched a seal and began pounding and punched it, causing a giant shockwave on, to cause the seal to shake. And that is the end of this episode. I hope you all have enjoyed part one of what if Naruto had. <clears throat> and what if Naruto had found and became the reincarnation of Koko Shibo, part one. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and all. I will see you all later. Goodbye, and, uh, you know, skadoosh.